Hi, my name is Shelly and I'm with Sailors for the Sea Powered by Oceana. Today we are going to learn about the relationship between trophic levels of a baleen whale's food chain and the impact humans can have on that food chain. The base of almost all marine food webs is phytoplankton, which are microscopic plants that use sunlight to grow. They are eaten by zooplankton or animal plankton, which are then eaten by small fish and crustaceans. Baleen whales are filter feeders that feed on small fish and crustaceans like krill. With this modified version of Jenga, we will learn how small changes in the ocean can impact whales and the food they eat. For materials, you just need the following items. Prior to playing the game, you will need to paint the end of the blocks four different colors. Paint 21 green to represent phytoplankton, 15 blue to represent zooplankton, 9 red to represent small fish and krill, and 3 purple to represent baleen whales. Once dry, we are going to stack the blocks to represent the food chain for baleen whales in the ocean. The phytoplankton are on the bottom, followed by the zooplankton, then small fish and krill with the whales on top. Now you can use the playing cards to determine which blocks to remove or place back. For example, there was an oil spill in the harbor. Remove one phytoplankton, one zooplankton, and one small fish block. The more negative things that happen in the ocean, the more unstable the food chain becomes. If the balance in the food chain is disturbed too much, the baleen whale's food web could potentially collapse. Everything is connected. We as humans can take action to protect our oceans and the animals living in these waters. If you're interested in downloading this insightful game, head to our website at sailorsforthesea.org and click on kelp. We also have 50 other activities for children to learn about our amazing waters. Thanks so much for joining today.